Good morning, Sanbonani, Absheni, Molweni, Dumelang, Ki Apostle Simon Mukwena, Ya Tanghuluna, Lehusung Hunakajenu, Kadit Abate Mulemo. I mean good news. David says in the book of life, I'm talking about the Bible, this is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. As you all know, that the whole world is in crisis. We are under siege. We are under attack by this sketch, the pandemic, coronavirus, which is called COVID-19. But thanks be to God, in His wisdom, He is connecting all of us on this platform. I'm in social media platform. Maybe you are watching this program on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. You are all my visual audience. Followers of the Apostle on this platform. Through this platform, we are all united in one spirit, in one faith. Dumela, as I'm going to talk to you this morning, the anointing, when I talk about the anointing, I'm talking about the manifest presence of the Lord. Prophetic declarations. Please follow the apostle. Bua mohole mo apostola. Recebe se moho retroti se li bitso la mure. Kitlo rapela luena. Bula fela pilu ya hau. Vula inti zoyako. Umuge lo wonke amazwe azo puma gulendao. Ahambi swa umo ya gankulungu. Nya kolelo inti zweni ya miyonke. That God is gonna bless you. And before kitwa la pili ka program yena ya ka jenu, ki kupa fela untu mele hure moholu wena, refane fela ka this apostolic and prophetic confession. Ka ipile tsa huwena, la tele kam rao, haibo humama humama, haibo uduzi fati, haibo ulika kolo ying. Ah, eh, uska wa swenye haka leto. The presence of the Lord is right there where you are. Hopula ma bitu ama raro kapato na di characteristics ita mudimu. Ki mudimu ya mata wose. Ki mudimu ya bonanzo se. Ki mudimu ya wose. Yes, indeed, He is omnipotent God, all-powerful God. He is omniscient God, all-seeing God. He is omnipresent God. He is everywhere. He's in the studio with the man of God, but he's also right there where you are. You can feel his presence. Yes, because God is not a man to lie, nor the son of man to repent. Just lift up your hands and make this apostolic declaration together with the men of God. I believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Mudimu wabunta taruna. Mudimu wa Abrahama, mudimu wa Isaka, mudimu wa Jacobo. Mudimu ya linteng ya fanin ka di neho tsa haye ka kerekeng. Ki dumela ho di neho tse hlano tse wa fanin ka tsona ka kerekeng. 
ba apostola ba profeta ba evangeli ba ruti le ba disa ke ai koko be tsantate ngicela ukuthi unxolele izono zami zonke Niyabonga baba ngokungiletha phakathi kwalo mthombo. Umthombo wamandla. Umthombo wokuphola. Umthombo wempumelelo. Niyayivula baba inhliziyo yami nanamhlanje. Ukumukela wonke amazwi wo prophet azophuma phakathi kwalo indawo. ke ya le bohanta te hore ha ke mutlwi fela ya ithetsa empa ke muyetsi wa ditaelo tsa ha i thank you lord that i'm not only the hearer of your word but i'm the doer of the word i receive with all my heart prophetic instructions prophetic and apostolic declarations in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit libitsong lantate le lamora le lamoya o halalela ka libitso lantate le lamora le lamoya o halalela amen hallelujah Mujimu a re hlono lo fatse ba bohle. Ke na le ditaba tse monate tso go tshoretse ntsona. Go tshoretse le ntswe la bo prophet. Yebo, a powerful message prompted by the spirit of the Lord in my heart. And be ready to receive what God is about to share with you. But also I have an inspirational music in Inspired music by the Spirit of the Lord. Let me invite you, my beloved virtual followers of this platform. We are going to sing right now. Please sing together with us. Here yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful song, and Africa will be saved together if we put our hearts together. We walk by faith. We celebrate the presence of the Lord even in the midst of this situation Africa will be saved please enjoy this beautiful beautiful song e binwang ke bana baka aus gift ntate masweu le ausi le sego a re bineng mmoho re tlotliseng modi and africa will be Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music. My heart is blessed. I feel the presence of the Lord, and I'm sure wherever you are, you are enjoying the presence of the Lord. Let us be quiet in the presence of the Lord. But before we get into the message of the day, allow me to give you 
anointed announcements. These announcements are very, very important. Di bo so kwa tibi sote na kita hau. Akiri rika kiri ke. Ye bo si son konzwe. Ntela njegu tu ulalele le zaziso. They are very, very important. Because it looks like we are into this new normal. I know, I know, I know. You are confused, you are frustrated, but I resist that spirit of confusion. Yes, please, flow with what God is doing. Some of us, long time ago, we knew it in our spirit that there is a shift. God is shifting the whole world. I know you are part of the church. You are part of what God is doing. Now, this is time for announcements. I'm trying to use all different languages because I want to accommodate everybody. There is somebody in Africa, there is somebody in India, there is somebody in Mozambique here in Africa, there is somebody in Australia watching this program. So it's important that we accommodate everybody. Isn't that the Lord is good? Yes. God is uniting the whole world. Look around us. We are all united. I mean, I've never seen this in my life. In my own country, South Africa. I mean, different political parties. Talking about religious leaders. Talking about traditional leaders. Even traditional healers. We are all united against one enemy. This pandemic, coronavirus, which is called COVID-19. And I'm telling you, we are going to conquer this monster because we are united. There is no battle will stand against us when we are united. We are not playing the blame game. We are united. We are one nation. To God be the glory. Please open your heart, open your ears. Listen to this announcement. I will be back. Thank you, Apostle, for this opportunity. And I'm here to read you your announcements. As you know that the president has declared a lockdown, so we won't be going to our church services. Now, this at this present moment, we are in a church. So I am saying to you, wear your church uniform. Wherever, whatever church that you go to, wear that uniform and fellowship with us. And please participate. When we clap our hands, clap with us. When we sing, sing with us. And when we scream and call unto God, please do it with us. When we pray, please pray with us. And do not forget that if you want to sow a seed, the banking details are appearing on your screen right now to push the work that the man of God is doing. And again, what you can do is that you can go on Apostle Simon Mugwena's uh, app, which is available on Play Store or App Store. Or rather, you can visit www.apostlesimonmugwena.co.za and click on the giving option. If you are watching this through social media, please do not forget to share the broadcast. Thank you. Church of God, wherever you are watching this program, we are proud that God has planted and placed technology in the minds and the hearts of different communities. By so, we are in difficult times. Look, the church, it's time now the church takes its rightful place. We are all feeling the pinch of this pandemic. But as the church, let us be strong. As the church, let us not be confused because the good Lord has said that in his hand, he's got the whole world. Let us not panic because we know the promises that God has made in our lives. Do not be shaken. Yes, COVID-19 has distracted our lives. It has interrupted our lives and it's upon us as the church to reverse the interruption. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. But before that, I want us to go to 1 Timothy chapter 2 from 1 to 2. It reads, 
ke khothaletsa dikopo ditlelo ditapelo le ditebogo di etsetswe batho bohle ba hlompheha e le hore re tle re phele bophelo ba boiketlo ba isong we are going to pray we are going to pray for our president a man who has been taking decisions that are best for us as the citizens of this republic we are going to extend our prayers we are going to pray for honorable eric masisi in botswana we are going to pray for uhuru kenyatta in kenya we are going to extend our prayers to all the leadership in africa we are going to extend our prayers for the whole world we are going to pray in banning before that please get kopa le amohele le hlasele le monate ke lena
What a beautiful song. To God be the glory. Even in this moment, even in this moment, it's that time for us to say, Ngapese kamatla, wena kasibili. Unklule le sibi kamitla, ungetze muhali. We are going to overcome this. I want you to go to your comfortable place. I want you to connect with God in this moment. I see you, you see me. Let us connect in spirit. How khona hala go mama ka mangwele a hao. Pamise matso a hao. Invite your family to come join you in this prayer. We are going to pray. Let's pray. Father, we come before you as your people with one mind, one heart, one faith. We have faith in you, God. We shall not be shaken. We know, Lord, that you care about us, Lord. That if, Lord, if you can care about the sparrows in the heavens, Lord, what more about us, Lord? We come before you, Lord, praying that have been affected and infected by this virus, Lord. When Israel apilang, tola matla hau, tola mahau hau jehova. When I am atlan doing, let Adi meleta zinda kaje no jehova. Habu hulu ba hau le matla hau aipona hatse ka harutu le sebaka. Kutunza neta le fatsi jehova re hamo ya wa hau umate hoshe zinda sasolo salahudimo. Ulo fodi sasi chaba sosho when Israel atlan kamata. Se <laughs> Mabitonga mararu, kalibito lantate, lila mura, lila moya o halalilang. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're watching Apostle Simon McQuenna. Family, once again, allow me to take this opportunity to share with you what God has laid in my heart about these trying times. Yes, we are in a warfare. And this is not warfare as usual. It's a spiritual warfare. All of us, we are going through difficult times. Yes, this is the trying time. Unkunkulu Momusa Wake Uyavuma Ugutisin Hule Paga to Gomlilo Nikumbula Amazwe A Kuluna Ujehofa Unkunkulu Koboloake E Kuluma Neguyake Um Prophet Ezaya Uri Laharifita Kaharamitsi Amangata Akeke Arinka Laharifita Kaharamulo Rikeke Racha he has promised in his word. Yes, he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He's got the whole world in his hands. He is still on the throne. We are rena mudimu wa Israel. We are rena mudimu wa Sioni. Ore lentsweng la hae ba itsepela ngena ba tswana le thaba ya Sioni. Ekekeng ya sisinyeha. 
ho pula timana yeo ke ileng ka o fa yona ha se le mosena se kala how long will you mourn for Saul for i have forsaken him just open your eyes because david is there for you yes in the midst of these trying times we are experiencing a warfare we are all under siege but you know god is in a shifting business mudimu we are a shifter he's shifting our relationships he's shifting our businesses yes even the church god is shifting the church who ever thought that today like i'm talking to you you will be celebrating his presence on this platform di kereke di kwetswe i mean where we usually gather as his people because when we talk about the church we are really talking about you you are the church the word church in greek means ecclesia le bulelan the chosen ones ba khetwa ba behetsweng ka thuko for a divine task you are called i am called yes god is in control he called you you are not supposed to go to a building to serve god and call that church ke reke ke wena ka molomo wa mo apostola ha e bukeng ya ba korinthe o re ana ha le tsebe hore lo na le tempele ya moya o halalela mudimo phela ka ha re wena na go nyaka ya thapelo ke santse ke ya tumela ho tla buisana le lona mudimo be ile mantsu a matla pelo nyaka a mfa ditemana tse tharo three anointed scriptural verses i believe these verses are prompted by the spirit of the lord to share with you the first scriptural verse which i would like to share with you it's in the book of first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 and verse number 2 the second scriptural verse which i would like to share with you it's in the book of ezekiel chapter 22 verse number 30 the last scriptural verse which i would like to share with you it's in the book of one of the major prophets emongwa ba prophet ba ba hulu eling ezaiah ezaiah chapter number 59 verse number 16 when we find ourselves in the midst of this trying time what is the church expected to do ya lukileng ha o tlwela ditaba tse bohloko ho etsa hala o tlamehile hore a responde jwang how are we supposed to respond in the midst of this trying time I believe the manual of life which is the Bible has got an answer for us. I'm excited about this moment because I'm I'm part of this new history which is written. One day you and I we will be telling the next generation what happened in 2020 and you were part of it. And God by his spirit and through his servants inspired these words in your heart. The church must be prophetic. The role of the church is to be prophetic during this trying time. King Uba prophetic is to take your rightful position is to position yourself and to correct your posture as God's people so that we are not responding like the world. Yes, we are not supposed to think like the world. We are not supposed to speak like the world and we are not supposed to act like the world. We must bring solutions. I believe we have the solution. The manual of life, which is the Bible, is instructing us to respond in a godly way. I'm reading from the first book of 1 Timothy chapter number 2 verse 1. 
It reads thus, I urge them first of all that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Kasisutu, pili hutsohli, tu khotaleza di kupo, di kaelo, di tapelo, li di tebuho, di etetoba tubohli, ba sompehang, ili huriritle de pile, ka khotu, ka burapedi, le ka bui tompo. Timana yina, irifa murero wa mudimu, the intentions of God about His holy people, the ecclesia, the chosen ones. Remember, our position as God's people is to be prophetic to the world. Our position in this particular verses is to pray. Paul says, Samantha, first of all, this is a priority of God's people, to pray. Prayer, it's a powerful tool given unto God's people to change the circumstances around us, to change the state of the world. The church has got an answer. The church is chosen. Yes, the church has got an answer. You and I are carrying the power of God. We are the carriers of the power of God to change the whole world. You must believe in the power of prayer. Yes, I mean the house of prayer. I believe in the power of God. When we are praying, we are saying to the creator of the universe, Lord, we can't do without you. We are powerless without you. Yes, but when we pray, we become powerful. We can change this situation. This coronavirus, which is called COVID-19, has interrupted our lives. But guess what? We've got the solution as the church. We can also interrupt this virus. We can reverse it. We can slow it down. But by the power of God, using wisdom, working together, yes, as the church of God, as the people of God, holding our hands together, praying, there will be solution. I believe in the power of prayer. Second scriptural verse, Timana ya bubedi, yeo ki ratang hufayona, ki arata huruiba le moho lenna. Ki timana, esahang buke nya ezaia. Chapter number 59, verse number 16. Ibalachena, it reads thus, He saw that there was no one. He was appalled that there was no one to intervene. Church, we are called to intervene. Together, we can intervene. We can interrupt. We can stand against this monster because we have the power we have the anointing i'm talking about the manifest presence of god god can manifest himself isn't that beautiful isn't that powerful are being bad do medi bad do melan on a lemon to a ring to me we tata is what's about you made none when i read you made it up again Ridumela who retorted the retang with the bullella. A banget farana moho, rebalin swilling, Mudimorona caipona has. And he was appalled that no one intervened. So his own arm achieved salvation for him. Mudimu ulla kata hurri, puluke ho ibete. The world must be saved. What a beautiful song. 
Yeo ke tadi leng le nane ho le na kalon. Africa shall be saved if you and I believe. Together we are united. We are praying. Africa, not only Africa, the whole world will be saved. Uta timane na munati haka kanga susud. Murena abona huri. Ha huna mutu. Amaka la hubona. This is our calling. Kamata ahai, asula di rata hai, huluka hai, homutsi heza. The calling of the church is to fill the gap. There is a gap in the world. Somebody is needed. By God Himself, God is calling us. Somebody is called, and that is you, to intervene, to be in the gap, to hold the hand of the Father, the Creator, and to hold the hand of the universe, the world, and join them together. Fight for them by your prayers. Here's another scriptural verse. I don't want to take much of your time. This is a precious time. This is a divine time for the church to be united to pray. If my people who are called by my name should humble themselves and pray, I, the Lord, I will listen to them. I will hear their prayers and I will come down. I will heal their land. Africa will be healed. Timana Yabura. This is my last scriptural verse. I hope you are writing this verse down. And you're not only writing down on the paper, on your gadget, but also you are writing on the tablet of your heart. You are going to meditate about the scriptural verses so that Psalms chapter number one is fulfilled in your life. You listen to the laws of the Lord. You don't stand in the ways of the wicked. And on his law, you meditate day and night. You are like a tree planted by the side of the river. And you will bear fruit in every season. And everything that you are going to do is going to prosper. Why? Because you are going to meditate upon the laws of God, the words of God Almighty. Here is the last scripture. Ezekiel, chapter number 22, verse Number 30. Oh, I love this verse. Kya irata te mana ini. Nyal tanda lili verse. Umoya kan kunu kunu. Uten kunu misane na awe. Agunande abogutu gupi. Vuma. Nami nya vuma. Na loya wea vuma. Na loya wea vuma. Sonke si ya vuma. On this platform. So I sought for a man. Among them who will make a wall and stand in the gap before me and on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it but I found no one oh this scriptural verse has got so much meat in it it's so rich with revelations the Bible says I sought for a man the eyes of the Lord are moving to and fro, searching for a man. God is looking for a man. I am reminded of the story of David and Goliath. Goliath challenged the people of God every day, asking them, is there a man amongst you who can stand before me? and fight against me. And everybody was fleeing. The very same call comes from the throne room of God. Is there a man? Anamu tuteng. Yakaye mangdipake. In the gap, there is a gap. And somebody must fill up that gap. And you are called by God to intercede because of time. I would love to share with you about different kinds of prayers. There is a prayer of thanksgiving. 
There is a prayer of dedication. There is a prayer of asking for forgiveness. There is a prayer of faith. But in this particular verse, God is talking about the intercessory kind of prayer. Where you stand in the gap, you don't pray for yourself. You pray for somebody else. You stand in the gap on their behalf. You use your faith to reach out to other people. I look for a man and I find none. Kaske kam tola mutu yatlang ho rapela. Ki batla mutu yan shebele tseng hona joale. I ka ba ntate ka ba mme. I ka ba mutu ya mucha. Ya re nke ya le pamisa le tso. Use me Lord. Ntsebe di se mreen. Ka jeno nke ki tlwele ho rapela ka nna. Nke ki rapele le sechaba sena se timela. Let the church intervene. Mujima le sohno lo faze. Please. Ntumele ku ukupe. Hawa shebela le nane ho lena ka poso. Umona ho amuhela. Prophetic. Apostolic. Message. This is a message for direction for the church. Pray together with me. But share the broadcast. Work together with the men of God. And the reason we are on this platform. Kuyeta bu neti ba urifinye la mapelo abatu. My mission statement reaching people and reviving their lives. Let's share the broadcast. Invite friends, host, watch party. By so doing, you are saying, Malehambe Evangel. Haizamaye Evangelia Matra. Oh, I love this program. I believe what I've shared with you is from the heartbeat of God. Are rapele, kitoko pa hona joale, kamitsu swem malwa fela. Ubeile kajeti ya hao, pila hao. Iwaka mangwele. Bow your knees. Pray for the nation. Pray for South Africa. Pray for Botswana. Pray for Kenya. Pray for the whole of Africa. Yes, pray for America. Pray for Italy. Pray for Spain. Pray for Australia. I'm in the whole world. Let's pray. We are united. We are one nation before God. We are one race. We belong to God. And this race has got the color of the spirit. Let's pray together. I'm praying for South Africa. I'm praying for my president. I'm praying for Botswana's president. I'm praying for Zimbabwe. I'm praying for Mozambique. I'm praying for the whole of Africa. Let God intervene by our prayers because his ears are not deaf. He's listening to our prayers and it's going to rain and it's going to rain. It doesn't matter whether we are under siege. Economically, God has got the whole world in his hands. This shall pass because God is on our side. Let's pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I believe you are blessed. I don't want to waste much of your time. Please send your testimonies. If you want me to pray together with you, send your prayer requests. If you are new on the platform, with the same message, powerful message, anointed message, but I would like to take this moment to challenge you, if you want me to agree with you, your prayer requests so that I can agree with you and pray together with you. And I believe God is going to touch your life. God is going to shift your life. If I were you, I would shout, shift is coming my way. Transformation is coming my way. Oh, tsunamis of testimonies are coming my way. Please share the broadcast. Work together with the men of God. If you feel led in your spirit 
to give towards the ministry. Remember, when you are sharing your blessings with us, I mean, if God has blessed you financially and you are giving towards the ministry, you are a partaker of the anointing. You are making it easy for me to reach as many people as possible. You want to give your tithe? You want to give your love offering? Yes, you have a pledge to make to God's kingdom. Listen to me. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 9, verse number 6, he who gives sparingly will receive sparingly, but he who gives abundantly will receive abundantly. Wow, I love the word of God. Luke chapter 6, verse number 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press it down, shake it together, hand running over. For the same measure that you use shall be measured back unto you. I know you're a giver. I know God has touched your life. Listen to this special announcement. The numbers are on the screen. I want you to call right now. If you want to give your love offering, your tithes, our banking details are on the screen. Please don't take any other banking details. Use these ones showing on my screen because there are fraudsters out there. People would like to take advantage of you. The devil is a liar. You are wise, you are clever. You won't allow anybody to take advantage of you. You are not going to be the victim of the fraudsters. You are a child of God. I love you with the love of the Lord. Enjoy this beautiful music as you are giving your love offering. I will be back.
Music, 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 music. If music be the fruit of life, please play it on. I enjoyed this powerful, this inspirational music. I believe you're also blessed. It was so beautiful fellowshipping with you. I wish you love. I wish you success. I wish you God's blessings. Have a lovely week. I stretch my hands. I speak God's blessings upon you. Kere mudim, au tadi meka muhamu. Au khanse se se fasho sa wo. Au buluke tsele. Agu lwele wizi tsa. Yonke ndawo lapho khona uyo beke inyawo zakho khona. Leyo ndawo mayibusiseke. Nabantwana baphuma ekhalweni lakho mababusiseke. Imsebenzi yezandla zakho mayibusiseke. Uhlona lofale masimu. Uhlona lofale lapeng la hawu. Uhlona lofale businessing ya hawu. Isita le sikotlolo se u dubela ngubohobe u sona. Ha se hlona lofale. U fitlhela ba re kopana hape. Baking it on same time, same place. This is Apostle Simon Mukwena saying to you, Shalom, double for your troubles. Peace.